with all these advent calendars, I'm gonna lose all my nails by the end of this video. Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing my annual beauty advent calendar unboxing. So we have a bunch of calendars from different hot makeup brands. We got MAC, Benefit, Bare Minerals, NYX, Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, mm -hmm. but first, let me have a drink of my coffee. It's actually wine. <laughs> But the mug is for like the winter vibes. So we needed the mug, but like we also needed the wine. So you feel me, you know the vibes. Let's get started by telling you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that red button, it's completely free. Join my S Club. Without further ado, let's start unboxing these babies. So first we're gonna start off with Max. This is the Boom Boom Wow mini advent calendar. This is the one that I'm excited for because last year it was so, so good. Let's see what is inside. It comes in this little, carton. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting it to like unfold like that. They always sell out every single year. I feel like MAC is known for having really good beauty admin calendars. So day one, you're getting a lipstick in the shade Velvet. Oh, bitch. Velvet Teddy, a classic. One of their most popular shades, I would say. It's a matte lipstick. It's so, so pretty. And it's full size. Hello. So I'm really happy about the first day. Day two, you are getting All That Glitters Eyeshadow. Again, one of their most popular, best-selling eyeshadow shades. It's like a warm warm toned kind of copper shade with a frost finish. It's really, really stunning. Full size eyeshadow pan, yes value. Day three, you're getting the mini strobe cream. Does look to be a little travel size, or honestly, this could probably pass as a sample. Again, one of their classic products, amazing for glow as a primer, just to hydrate the skin. I love to use this even as a body lotion because it adds such pretty glow to your skin. Day four, you get the mini in extreme dimension mascara. It's a super jet black, it's supposed to give you length and volume. It's got like really short spiky bristles. I really like this one for my lower lashes. And even for it being mini, I feel like that's still a really good size. Day five, you get, oh, okay, it's a mini bullet. Velvet Teddy was the original size. You can see the size difference here. In the shade Cockney, which is one of their popular red shades. It's their luster lip formula, so it's more sheer, more glossy. Let me put it on top. Oh yeah, we're adding shine, you see that? If you like a really nice subtle hint of red with some shine to it, you'll love Cockney. And on day six, oh, you get their lip gloss in the shade Oyster Girl Poppin Lip Gloss. I feel like if you're a Mac girl, you know all of these products. They definitely give you their best sellers. It's like a pearly, very light pink nude and it's so gorgeous. It has some sparkle in it, so it adds a lot of shine. And I love Max lip glosses, like they're kind of thick, you know, but I really like like them because they last long and they are just gorgeous. Okay. Day seven. Oh, it's an eyeshadow. I know it. I can feel it. Yep. In the shade Wedge, it's a matte kind of cool tone brown. This is the ideal transition shade. It's a gorgeous, just like slight wash of brown. And honestly, I forgot about Wedge, so she's gonna bring her back. On day eight, get another lipstick in the shade Craving. It's their Amplified Cream Lipstick. Gorgeous, kind of dusty rose. You've got a really natural finish to it with some shine. A little travel size bullet again. Day nine, another eyeshadow in the shade Carbon. I love, full size, amazing. Day 10, another lip gloss in the shade Spice. This looks amazing on deeper skin tones as well, like a nice chocolate lip liner. The second last product is day 11, a lip gloss in the shade Magically Delightful. It's like a deep kind of coral, very, very pretty. Similar to Spice, but more pink. It reminds me of like Soar in like lip gloss form. And on the last day, I'm so sad it's coming to an end, day 12, you get Travel Size Lipstick Bullet in the shade Diva, okay. Diva is my all time favorite fall and winter burgundy. It is so stunning. Anyone can wear Diva and look like a bad bitch, you know? So that is it for the MAC advent calendar. I was not disappointed. I would see myself using every single one of these products. You get four full size products, three of which are eyeshadows. So I kind of wish that they mix it up a little bit more if I was being picky. There is a lot of lip products, so they could have given, you know, maybe one of their blushes or bronzers, but I really love all the lipstick shades that they did give. They're like their best sellers. 
So I can't really complain with that. Next, we'll open up the Benefit Cosmetics Shake Your Beauty Advent Calendar, which again is another 12 day advent calendar versus the 24 days, which I'm not mad about if you're giving me good products. I'd rather have 12 really good products than like 24 shitty ones, you know? So let's see what you get on day one. I like that this one's like the classic hop out advent calendar vibes. It's their Their Real Mascara in a travel size. I do really like this mascara. Short, spiky wand, great at lengthening and volume, but your lashes still look really natural. I definitely opened day two first, my bad. So here's day one. The Hula Bronzer, if I can get it out. It's so hard to get these out of here. It's a fun size, they call them. Hula Bronzer. This is a really good bronzer. I love the Hula Bronzer, so I'm happy about that one. Day three looks like a brow pencil. Ooh, my favorite brow pencil from them, the Precisely My. In my exact shade, number three. That works perfect for me. Number three is like a taupey brown. That is something to keep in mind, I guess. They, I don't know if they do different shades for the different calendars. Day number four, you get their dandelion blush. It's really pretty pale pink with a slight shimmer to it. I do like this blush a lot. It makes your cheeks look so glowy. Let me just apply a little bit more to what I have right now. So pretty. I feel like it's a perfect blush tone for the holidays too. Just very rose, almost like you've been outside in the cold. Day five is their brow setting gel. We're getting a really good variety so far. Brow products, face powders, mascara. Keep in mind, you got 12 products here for $65, so that averages out to like $5 per product. On day six, the hydrating pore professional. I never did find this pore professional hydrating. It kind of feels the same to me as the matte one. I don't know. But it is one of their best sellers, so it's nice that they included that. Day seven, their Roller Lash Mascara. Really great mascara as well. I know this one's really, really popular. Day eight, original pore professional. Great for mattifying, filling in your pores. I used to use this religiously, but I kind of slowed down, especially when I have acne, it, it kind of dries out those spots a little bit, but it's great at filling in pores. And I feel like they're most known for this product. Day number nine, their Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is their newest mascara and probably my favorite from the other ones that we've gotten. And I love the wand because it's really thin. So it's really good for your lower lashes too. Day 10, oh, another bestseller, their Gimme Brow. If you have sparse brows, this is a holy grail. It thickens your brow hair hair is like three times the size, I swear. Again, it's shade number three, so that's really specific to a certain brow color. Day 11, mascara primer. So it's the Their Real Primer. You apply it before your mascara and it's supposed to, I guess, make your lashes thicker. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm curious about that. And on the last day, day 12, it's their roller eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner. It's really, really good, super jet black. Just another really good product of theirs. So that is it for the Benefit calendar. I would say that they gave an amazing variety of all of their best-selling products. I feel like these are the products that Benefit is known for. You're getting all their main brow products, their pore professionals. I feel like we're getting getting the most variety from this calendar. Next, we have the 24 days of clean beauty bare minerals advent calendar. This is the first one we're unboxing that is the full 24 days. It actually does have the products on the back of it, but I'm not gonna look. So you open her up. Day one, you get their poreless clay cleanser with prebiotics and super fruits. Day two, looks like a little slot here. It's a lipstick, it's the shade Courage, which is a really gorgeous, vibrant red. It looks to be a satin finish, very creamy. Day Day three. Oh, I know what this is. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. It's a blush in the shade Pink Sky. It's so tiny. It's a really little pan, but you gotta keep in mind this one is 24 days. So you're getting double the products as the other ones for the same price as Max. Day four, another lip product in the shade Hibiscus. Looks like it's a satin finish as well. Day five is another skincare product. It's their Skin Longevity Eye Treatment. You ain't getting no dry, crusty eyelids in the winter with this guy. Only five milliliters, so it's just a little taste of the product. Day six, another lip product. Ooh, this looks like a lip gloss. The shade Forbidden. Oh, that is stunning. That's such a pretty pale pink. Day seven, all over face color. What is that? So it looks to be like a shimmery loose powder. Oh, that's a highlight. Oh my God. <gasps> That is so stunning. I would use that for an eyeshadow because it's definitely too dark for my skin tone right now. Day eight, you're getting their eyelid primer. It's extremely tiny. Like this looks like a sample size versus like a travel size, but I haven't tried their eyelid primer yet. So I am curious about that. Day nine is another lipstick. 
in the shade Honesty. It's a really pretty pink. Day 10, is that a mascara? Yeah, it's their Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. Really interesting wand shape on this one, kind of twirled. Day 11, oh, it's their Mineral Veil Foundation Powder. They're most known for this product. It doesn't say what shade it is, but obviously it's not universal. This is quite a light color. That's something to keep in mind. It won't, it's not a universal shade. Day 12, you're getting another lip gloss in the shade Pout. Day 13 is their Primetime Original Primer. On day 14, another skincare product, you're getting their Gel Cleanser. Coconut and Prickly Pear. So you have their Clay Cleanser and now their Gel Cleanser for all skin types, including good for sensitive skin. Day 15, it's a matte liquid lipstick in the shade Swag. I love that shade, it's so pretty. I also really like the name. Day 16, it's a loose eyeshadow powder in the shade Celestine. Gorgeous, kind of cool toned bronzy shade. Day 17 is the last product on this side of the calendar. It's another one of their loose powder blushes in the shade Golden Gate. I really love their loose powder makeup. They're super pigmented. They're like multi-use. You could use that as an eyeshadow too. On day 18, you're getting their Long Life Herb Serum, which is great. I really love it. Super hydrating. I've tried it before. I really like their herb skin collection. I use the eye cream too. On day 19, you're getting, ooh, I think it's another mascara. Their Lash Topia Mega Volume Mineral Base Mascara. Oh, this wand is what I'm talking about. It's super big, fluffy. I normally love those type of mascara wands. They give you really good volume. On day 20, you get another loose powder eye color in the shade Queen Phyllis, which is a stunning kind of icy champagne color. So gorgeous. Day 21 is another lip with lipstick in the shade Boss. It's matte. Day 22, another one of their all over face colors, which I think is that highlighting shade. So I guess you can use it for an eyeshadow, for highlight, all over face. Color. This one's a more deep chocolatey bronze. Day 23 is the second last product and you're getting such a pretty bronze color. Look at that. Oh my God. This entire calendar is like a neutral girl's dream. And last but not least, you got day 24, Christmas Eve. You are getting another lip product. It seems to be another pink and we've gotten a lot of those. I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot, a lot of those. So if one thing I could change is I wish that they would give you a little bit more variety in the lip colors. All in all, I really like the Bare Mineral calendar. I know my mom would especially love this. She's all for clean beauty. She loves the multi-use products. So I'm definitely going to give this to her. I like that they had some skincare in there as well. And for as many like tiny little products that you got, you also got some really good size products that you know are going to last as well, especially the loose powdered products. They go a long way. So I do think it's worth the money. You get the full 24 days and makes a really great gift. So I'm liking this one. Now we have the NYX Diamonds and Ice Please 24 day holiday countdown. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, the vibes are immaculate. I'm loving this. On the first day of Christmas, Miss, get a matte lipstick in the shade Perfect Red. And I mean, the name is on point because look at that. That's my ideal red. A little bit of a satin finish to it. I do like that formula. Day two, you get their Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. It's a cream highlight, really pretty pearly pink shade. I mean, it's super, super metallic. Very blinding. Ooh, very pretty. Love that for me. You like? Day three, you get Ooh, a lip product. It's their soft matte lip cream in the shade Cans. We love the NYX soft matte lip creams. On day four, you get an eyeshadow in the shade Glam Purple. Day five, you get, oh, what is this? Oh, it's their This Is Everything lip scrub. Whole ass lip scrub on down. Look at that. Oh, the lips are gonna be luscious. Mm. That smells so good. It's like kind of bubble gummy. I don't know, but I love it. Day six, you get their butter gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake. Really pretty dark pink. And the butter gloss, like one of the best drugstore glosses by far. Day seven. Oh, another eyeshadow. Full size in the shade Crystal. This is holiday glam vibes. Day eight, this is everything lip oil. So you're getting a whole lip spa moment. The scrub, the lip oil for afterwards. Oh, my lips are about to be hydrated and luscious. I love that. Day nine, it's another lip oil. Oh, this has a color to it. It's a really light pale pink. I was gonna be mad that they were the same product, but they're not the same. 
got a tint, got some color to it. Day 10, you're getting, ooh, another one of their Born to Glow liquid highlighters, the shade Gleam, for more of a deeper skin tone, more of a coppery metallic shade. Day 11 is another soft matte lip cream in the shade Rome, which is a deep kind of burgundy. Day 12, it's their Loving Lip Balm. Lip care is taken care of with this advent calendar. There's a lot in there as well. Mm, smells really good too. On day 13, you're getting their HD finishing powder, which much flashback, not ideal. Laughable at how much flashback. We don't like this product. Next, day 14, you're getting a matte lipstick in the shade Natural, pretty universal. Day 15, you get another butter gloss in the shade Creme Brulee, one of their all-time bestsellers. Gorgeous, pale pink. Day 16, another single eyeshadow pan in the shade Golden Bronze, and that's exactly what it is. Day 17, a little bit of a repeat moment here. I mean, you're getting another full-size eyeshadow, but it's a very similar shade. Do they not look the same? Oh, they're not the same. Okay, they're, one's go bronze goddess and the other is golden bronze. One's like a little bit more of a coppery tone. They could have switched it up. They're too similar. Day 18, you get the matte lipstick in the shade Siren, which is that deep berry purpley shade. Very pretty. Love these type of tones for winter. Day 19, another matte lipstick in the shade Whipped Caviar. Pretty similar to natural, just a bit darker. Here's natural. Here's Here's whipped caviar. Day 20, you're getting another eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. We're nearing the end now. We're on day 21, which is HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. It's got a bit of color to it, which I do like in my eyeshadow primers. Feels kind of slimy. Have you tried this? Do you guys like it? Day 22, NYX Santa Claus is giving you another eyeshadow. And now we got a true yellow gold metallic eyeshadow color. I'm telling you, they covered you with the metals here. Yellow gold, bronze, rose gold, and silver. Day 23, another lip product. You're getting the Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu Classic. Everyone loves Tiramisu, a winner here as well. Day 24 is the last day and you're getting their Pore Filling Primer. And this is actually a pretty big bottle. And that's it for the NYX calendar. I like that they gave a lot of full size eyeshadow pans. You got lip scrub, lip oils, lip balm, lip creams, lip glosses, lipsticks. All in all, definitely worth the money and really cute packaging, fun little experience. The only thing that I could have done without is this HD powder because we know the flashback is horrendous. Last but not least, we have the Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar, $200 though. Charlotte Tilbury is very high end, so that's not a surprise. <laughs> oh, it's so, Pretty. You can definitely reuse the packaging, like store some jewelry in there, like I'm gonna do with my YSL one. Like, it's just too cute to throw away, you know? 12 different drawers in here, they're not labeled, so she's a little bit different than the other app and calendars, you know? So I guess I'll just go in order of top to bottom. In the first drawer, the Beauty Light wand. Easy highlighter, it says. It's a sponge liquid highlighter. I love that. And look how big, full size. Yes. Oh God. Oh. Drawer number two. It's the Color Chameleon in Copper Lights. So I guess it's a cream eyeshadow. Again, full size. Drawer number three. It's the Rock and Coal Liquid Eye Pencil. I love a good brown eye pencil. It's a coal, so you can smudge it. You can manipulate it without it drying down too fast. Day four, it's the lip pencil in Pillow Talk. Her number one best known shade is Pillow Talk. I really hope we get the lipstick too, but the lip pencil, I'm down. It's just the most gorgeous natural like pink. Great for overlining. Drawer five. Ooh, a skincare product. It's the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. It's supposed to lift, smooth, brighten, and reduce the appearance of pores for baby soft skin. Drawer number six, another skincare. This is her Magic Serum. It's a crystal infused serum for younger looking miracle skin. You convinced me, I have to try it. Day seven, Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, imperfections, and give you a glow while also a soft like blurring effect, which is my type of primer. So I am really excited to try that one. Like blur them pores, but without drying me out, you know? The next drawer is quite big. The Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. So it's a mascara from the Pillow Talk line. Short, spiky wand. Drawer number nine. Oh, I think this is it. It's lipstick, yep in the shade Pillow Talk. Love the formula too, it's very creamy. Definitely an everyday type of lip color. Day 10, you get the Supermodel Body Shape Hydrate and Glow. It's a highlighting trick for an all over sculpting shimmer. Oh wow, so it's meant to be body makeup? 
It's got a little bit of a color to it. Let's see what that does to my veins on my hands. That would make your legs look absolutely amazing. Y'all, I need a bigger size ASAP. On the 11th day of Christmas, you are getting Charlotte's Magic Cream. So this is an award-winning moisturizer. It smells so good. It's like a thick cream that hydrates instantly. If you have dry skin, this will be a lifesaver. The last day, full-size, huge products. It's her Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I need to apply some right now. Oh, the mist? is magical. It's like the perfect fine mist. It smells really good. Instantly gave me some hydration. Supposed to set and prime for up to 16 hours. So that is it for the Charlotte Tilbury little advent calendar. We got a good variety of makeup, but also skincare. We did get some really good full-size products. Pillow Talk shade, lipstick and lip liner, the setting spray, cream eyeshadow stick. Like all of these are full-size. You definitely do get your money's worth. My favorite still has to be Max. I think it's just the most bang for your buck. Um, second, definitely would have to be Charlotte Tilbury's. Um, it is just a little bit on the pricier side, but it's a great way to get a taste for her brand. Let me know what advent calendar was your favorite down below. Watch this if you haven't seen it yet and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Like we could be friends, but you're missing out if you don't subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.